name is Gail and I'm coming to you from Laconia Public Library. We're going to do a fun edible craft today and I bet by the time I finish showing you the books you'll know what this is going to look like. But beware, it's not what's inside. It's just what it will look like, the picture. So today's books, I have several of them, all have to do with the same type of thing. And once you see the first title, you'll know exactly what the picture thing is going to look like. And these are some of my favorite animals. Here it is, here's the first one. And in case you can't read, you might just know what the picture is. Have you guessed yet? It's about owls. This is particularly a snowy owl. It's a beautiful animal that turns white in the winter time. It's just lovely. This is a first reader, so if you are learning to read, it's a nonfiction first reader. So if you're just learning to read, this is a great book for you because the words aren't too hard and the pictures are spectacular. There they are inside their home. And we're going to make a lot of things with choices for what's inside. Oh, I'm sorry. And that one is written by Laura Marsh and it is in the nonfiction section of First Readers. Great book. This next book, Owl Moon by Jane Yolen, was a Caldecott Medal book for the best pictures during the year it was created. And my children and I have always done this. We call the owls. We live just next to a hundred acre wood. And in the winter time, when the owls are calling, although we hear some in the spring too, the of the great horned owl, we call them. And if you are good at it, it doesn't have to be spectacular. If you're pretty good at it and you don't make too much noise, you might be lucky enough to get an owl to come to you. You'll hear them getting closer and closer. And when they land, they have about a five or six foot wingspan. It's pretty spectacular. And you turn your flashlight on and there they are just as they're landing. And they will look right at you. Sometimes they'll hoot right at you. Pretty spectacular. Great story about going owling. This one is my favorite. It's funny. It's called Hoot Owl, Master of Disguise. And it's a real funny book about a hoot owl. They all hoot. Although some of them sound like they're barking. Who's trying to disguise himself so that his prey doesn't know that he's an owl. He's always looking for different types of food. And he's scooting off. Here he goes. Oh, I particularly like this one where he's stalking a lamb. Soon, I will be eating it. Doesn't happen. And what does he end up with for food? You'll have to see. This one is another nonfiction book. Spectacular pictures. And this is owls and owlets. Lots of different kinds of owls. And there are some babies coming out and they want to be fed right away. Look at that. Spectacular pictures. This one is, I don't even know who it's by. Uh, do, 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 do. It is by Annabelle Lynch. Great book, another nonfiction. And the last one is also nonfiction. These are all available at the library for you to call us and grab. Greta the Great Horn Owl, it's a rescue story about how she was injured and how she gets better. There she is during her rehab. All of these books are available for you here at the library. Hi, so we're back here and I have all my ingredients to make this very cute sandwich. Have a very large cucumber. This is the burpless kind. I like these better. Unless you're getting the little tiny ones and they come four or five to a package. I like this kind because they don't make me burp. And we have, you recognize this, peanut butter. You can make your sandwich with any kind of filling that you, your child will eat. So I just happen to have some peanut butter here. I also have some American cheese. I got a big block of it. 
and you can make a cheese sandwich, you can make a roast beef sandwich, you can make a veggie sandwich with sprouts, because basically it's the outside of the sandwich that's going to be what looks like this project. And I have a couple of tree trunks made of pretzels. You can use skinny ones and use a bunch of them or one big one or several big ones. I have a couple slices of bread. Here's my American cheese. I asked for a slightly thicker slab and I got a big slab. And I have some raisins. These particular raisins are regular raisins. Um, I suppose you could also use the white ones, but these will look more like pupils of eyes. And I have a couple of different kinds of knives and we're ready to get started. Okay, so we're gonna start putting this together. As I said, I'm gonna make a peanut butter sandwich. You make whatever kind you want. Um, my boys particularly like peanut butter and bananas. That's a really good sandwich for them. And it's very filling and full of potassium. And peanut butter has good protein in it. So it's always a good snack. And I'm not a person who skimps on peanut butter. I love peanut butter. So I use it all the time. So this one's just a peanut butter sandwich. So I'm gonna put it together with the bread and then we have to decorate after. So I'm gonna do that. That part's all set. Well, actually, I'm gonna move that over to our finishing plate. And then we're gonna cut our cheese. And all we need is a beak. We can make feet too, but we're gonna make a small beak for our owl. So let's see if that's too big. No, oh, looks like it'd be perfect. And if you wanna make some feet, you can also make those. So I could do that too easily by cutting two slices and just putting them on the bottom. There's my owl's feet. If you want to make talons, you could be much more creative. So that one's done. And already over here are our trees. That's what this is, trees. So now we need to make the circle shapes. And I'm going to make them very easily. I'm not peeling this. If you don't like the cucumber peels, feel free to peel them. You're just cutting the circles. Very easy. Don't cut your fingers. Kids can do this with some supervision because as long as they're not allowed to cut with their fingers underneath, they're fine. Cucumbers smell so good. Many of you are gonna have those in gardens this summer. So let's put that aside and let's make our owl's eyes. Whoops, one of his feet fell. And I'm gonna put the two raisins right in the middle so that they look like pupils. Silly owl foot. You know what? I can make it a lot easier by sticking it inside. I hope you don't think this looks like fangs because they're not, they're supposed to be out. Okay, it's being difficult. What are we doing here? Okay, let's just push that one up. So he has two short feet, that's okay. And these are our trees, because you know owls hang out in trees. And we could either make them long trees like this, or we can break off a little piece and see how they look when they're shorter. Maybe that might be a better length. So there's our tree on the bottom, and here's our leaves. If we need more, we can cut some more after. Go. Makes a great snack. I love cucumbers. Hope you do too, because they're so good for you. So, so far, so good. I think I gotta move my owl's eyes in because now, here we go. We're gonna cut his wings. I'm gonna cut one on this side and one on this side. I'm going to move them up a little bit. One wing there. One wing there. Spread his wings a little bit. 
Come on, go, guy, go. And there he is. Let's move him down. There's our owl in our tree. All ready to go. All ready to eat. Have a great time. Remember, you can make your sandwich with anything you have at your house. He's a cute little guy and he's very healthy. This particular sandwich is really healthy. When we do our summer program, we'll be doing some less healthy, more fun, more magical treats. But right now, go for it. You could eat this any day you want and do very well because it's delicious. Woo! Yum. It's great. I love cucumbers. Hope you enjoy the snack. If you make some of these, send us pictures. We love to put them up on our webpage and say, you've been making things from the library at home. Have a great day. Bye.